And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factory Town. And as you can see, our veggie stews have backed all the way up. We are making those way faster than we are the meat stews, due to the fact that the meat takes an abnormal amount of uh, feed to make. Um, and if I were to make one tweak in the game, I would make it so one recipe gives you meat and leather. Because what are you doing with the leather? Are you just tossing it aside? Like that, to me, that's, that's uh, wasteful. But uh, anyway, other, other changes I would make, I would make uh, uh, wheat, uh, flour. Uh, the flour here, I would make it a 2 to 3 ratio rather than a 1 to 3 ratio. Little tweaks like that. I'm, I'm, I'm talking with the developer and working on ideas, suggesting ideas for modding. He does want to support modding. And, uh, you know, I kind of let him know that the earlier you start that framework, the better things go. Um, so yeah, all, all of the, all of the things are hard coded right now. All of the recipes in the game, you know, all of the settings, all of the balance, it's all hard coded and you know, it's not necessarily good. All right. So one thing that we could do is we could feed these things with conveyor belts. I kind of thought about that, like, Ooh, that would be kind of cool conveyor belts and just constantly feed but you know one conveyor belt out from here and one out from here it would be just saturated with one type right now until we get faster conveyor belts i think we're gonna need to sort of bide our time so build worker wagon i want a wagon there and a wagon there so we have some cloaks to deliver we have a whole lot of edgy stews and we have now a full barn of meat stews ready to go and oh it's glorious i mean i could wait until this is all backed up and stuff but you know i want to get some coinage because i am running low on my blue coins because right now we are researching railways and that's gonna that it's going to chew up 500 coins and it's almost done but yeah our blue coins almost almost dead so wagon for the cloaks. So cloaks to here. And the developer has made an update. I think you can click like this and then click right here. Or maybe not. Click right there. Click, yeah, there we go. So you can now click and click. You don't have to click and drag anymore. There's some more red coins, glorious. And now our happiness just shot way up, which bumps our production. Our productivity was hovering around 10% increase, now it's 30%. Uh, Minecart, there's rail, all sorts of rail stuff. And yeah, I definitely wanna get into rail. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, but, you know, we gotta, we gotta wait. We gotta bide our time a little bit on that. So lots of coinage. Good amount of coins from those veggie stews too. 16, 16 coins from each one of those. Not bad. <clears throat> it's almost keeping up with demand too. So we'll be able to build up our yellow coins again, which will allow me to you know remove resources and reallocate space for things. Uh, I would like to now get a production of pickaxes because if we look at pickaxes, those also give us blue coins. And we have quite a few really heavy blue coin researches to go, like mining and enchanted accessories. Like we've got a few, we've got a few blue coin, uh, very expensive. Like this one, enchanted accessories is going to be so expensive. Um, but I would like to get the mine up and running. I think we're going to need to beef up, uh, yeah, paper production. Um, this is 
not an ideal spot anymore for this. I'm going to get you, get you. Oh, you can come over here. You can come over here. All you guys. Um, I want to remove this. And this. And this. So, how do we want to feed this thing now? This is our, I mean, this plank production in here, this is essential. We, we need this plank production uh, for, you know, building building the scaffolds that I've been building and stuff out here. That's, that's all plank production. Um, I'm thinking... Once this forest is sort of gone, we are going to need some way. This is really tightly knit in here, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, so first, let's remove this grain. I don't need that grain anywhere I think for now build building lumber mill for now we'll just place this here this is going to be paper um, and I'm wondering if I can do that there we go haha -ha. There we go. Automated water. So these guys are now going to... You're going to go there. So as they... As they clear this stuff out... Um, they will, I will build shoots to sort of help them out. Then let them clear it a little bit faster. So look at, look at that. We have really ramped up how much stuff we've got going on right now. We're still, oh, we're just now clearing out some of those stews. Meat stew is obviously not, not as good. Cloaks, not even close. It's it's all down to uh, feed for this thing, which reminds me, um, I can I can bulldoze you. Let's let you clear out. Build uh, terrain block down. You can do one there and one there. So now you're. Now you're getting all the water that you need. We actually have... How do we have a surplus? I just can't push them out fast enough? So... supplement that a little bit there we go I would like to push tons more uh, animal feed in there so let's let's plan on doing that let's farm, farm, farm. Oh, D farm right here I'm gonna go back here a little ways and I'm gonna do another grain mill for reasons this we need there this animal feed shoot 
Because once this starts maxing out, as you can see, happiness 90. So we are now overproducing. Or not overproducing, but we are producing much faster at 90%. We're almost we almost doubled the productivity of our setup. Wow, what happened to all of the fertilizer? Did I incidentally block that? I think I did. Oh, stop doing it. There we go. Oops. There, now it won't block it. Okay. Oopsies. Hopefully, we had a little fertilizer in reserve, which is fine. A little fertilizer up here, too, wouldn't hurt. Put that to use. And uh, we're going to just cancel that. Because we got lots of fertilizer down here. <laughs> lots of it. Okay, let's go back up here. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't going to run out. It doesn't use fertilizer very fast. Now we're down to 80%. What happened? Uh, cloaks kind of ran dry. But hopefully we'll be fixing that soon with more grain. Build, farm, tile. Now I would like extra fertilizer to come in and in here. Or, that really doesn't matter too much where it comes from. I mean, I would like to bring it out of the barn here. Oh, we could do that. Let's plant, well, let's first apply fertilizer. I can do it. I can do it way faster than the farm can. There. There we go. Now, let's get fertilizer out. Like so. And a grabber. Is that leather? That's the wrong barn. Wrong barn. Buggy, wrong barn. Good lord. I think I know my way around my base. Now there's probably some leather in my base. Yeah, there's leather in my base. That's easy enough to clear out, though. I can't believe I did that. Oh. You go this way. You go up. Now let's get a grabber. Thank you. Uh, and you need to be farm grain. There we go. So it's going to be slow at first. But we're going to get a lot of stuff a lot of stuff ramped up here. I can use a shoot for the extra animal feed. And as soon as all these are grown and and watered and all that kind of good stuff. We could ramp up production. Although we're getting a little low on our workers. So we got house level three. We can upgrade these. That's going to cost a lot of cloth. Just how much cloth? We got we got a good amount sitting ready.
Uh, that reminds me. We're going to grab the leather out of here and push into there. Oh. You pushed it into there. Good job. I didn't even notice that. Now we're down to 71. Yeah, it's it takes a lot of uh of things to get this production up and running. It's really good for a boost of of happiness though. So if you're trying to upgrade your base, like I really like to upgrade this thing except look at the we need we need the mana crystals and we haven't gotten into any sort of magical thing yet and i wanted a good starting point aka this map nice and flat ready for super amounts of production um but we might need to upgrade quite a lot before we get to that so now you can see we actually have a surplus of animal feed so we can upgrade this pasture a couple times boosting his production and it should cut back on this animal feed and give us lots more leather. So where are you? I'm not delivering leather anymore, so you can get leather down to here. Because this guy is making books, and if we're not researching, he's not going to be using very much. I really would like to automate this a little bit. But we already have that going. We could raise this up one more. That is definitely something we could do. Would be tough to tie this in though. This is not an ideal setup. I admit, not an ideal. Uh, okay. So let's build some more farm tiles. So let's apply some fertilizer. Okay, use up a little water that we had in the system. If you have like water buckets in here, you can apply water and uh, it'll, it'll run just fine. What were you doing? I bet you you were delivering wagon wheels somewhere. Now, originally, I was going to want to try to build uh, some pickaxes with this little iron setup down here. But I'm having my doubts about doing that down here. I might want to carve out some space up here to do it. Like, we got this iron here. We got this iron here. We have this big coal here. This might be a good, you know, setup to, to make a bunch of iron-related things. Of course, we have this enormous iron right here not sure how I want to do that okay build plant grain let's get some grain some extra grain in there so if we want to start upgrading some of these to get a few extra workers it also brings us into a specialty sort of situation house level one good lord I didn't even know I still had a level one in there do I have any other level oh I do I didn't even know that. There, now we have a lot more workers. Let's uh, get you upgraded. I think they max at level five. Let's see. We have some. We have some reinforced planks. Yep, level five is the max. So that should have kickstarted this little project down here. 
I disabled nails right here because somehow nails snuck into this level here. And I don't like that. So let's use a few more of those. So that's 12, 10, 4, and 4. 12, 10, 4, and 4. Oh, I guess. No difference. But that extra production really kind of helps. These are starting to these are starting to farm so fast that we can't actually keep up. You know, the 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 stuff grows really slowly. That's naturally in the world. It's really slow. See, this is trying to this is going to consume all of it. Oh, look at that. 3 2 1 done. Yeah, it's Maxing that out with our happiness at uh, where it is. Okay, it looks like that all finished up. Why is that? Well, let's let's beef this up a little bit. Three hundred and twenty percent. Same as this one, but this grain mill is actually beefed up a little bit. I might need And you could put water around the outside and that would that would help things out. these now try to stagger them a little bit you know the more the more things you have growing in a farm uh, the better you are because it doesn't you know as it kind of randomly selects a grain the more the more you have growing the slower this is going to be because every time it has to apply water or fertilizer, it slows the grain down quite a lot. And I'm just trying to push as much as we possibly can into this pasture, which seems to be holding its own. All right, look at that. We've got like tons and tons of things now. Let's finally get mining done. I'm going to start this off 12 writing supplies, so it's a little over a book for every single one. Or should we do steam power first? Uh, yeah, let's do mining just because it's the end of the episode, and this is going to be... I mean, it's going to be a thousand coins, which we have. It's going to be a lot of writing supplies, which, I mean, let's face it. I wish we could use all of the... Why are you on this? You should not be using that line at all. <laughs> you should not be using this one. Let's see if it tries to use it again. Nope, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Looking pretty good. System is working really well. It's expensive, but it's working. Now we could 
cancel these guys. Ah, uh, I'll, I'll keep the veggie stews going. Meat stews, though, I want to build those back up again. Veggie stews are actually doing pretty good. Um, and it's very little, very little effort to make those veggie stews. So I could even, I could even ramp this up a little bit more. Oh, you are low. You are low on fuel. That's your slowdown. Wow. I didn't even realize that they were that low on fuel. All right. Well, some of this, some of this coin is going to go towards carving out an area where we can do some major, major uh, iron production. Uh, over here might be good too. There's so much over here though. Like, oh, look at that iron deposit right there. Like, I hate, I hate clearing space. Grain, I'm not so worried about. It's like, man, you definitely don't want to eliminate your mana shards. That would be awful. But we need, we need a big, big, rich area for uh, iron. Oh, wow, there's just no iron in there. That was a gamble. That didn't pay off. Thank you for that. So, yeah, I was hoping for a really nice area for iron, but... We're going to have to carve one out ourselves. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.